Free trade have taken the UK investing market by storm over the past several years, establishing themselves as one of the fastest growing investment apps that lets you and me invest in companies here in the UK and overseas with just a tap on a screen. What makes Free Trade unique is their approach to fees and commissions, which, as their name suggests, don't exist. It allows you to mostly invest commission free, but we'll touch on some of the optional fees shortly, as there's always a cost somewhere along the way. First things first, to get started, you'll need to create an account and everything with Free Trade is done via their app. You'll need to go to your favorite app store, whether that's on your iPhone or Android device, and download the Free Trade app. Here's what you need to look for on the app store if you're using an iPhone. It's a very bright shade of pink, so you shouldn't miss it. Set up an account and just follow all of the instructions. Now, I won't tell you how to spell your own name. I reckon you can take care of that part. You'll just need to fill in the usual level of information to get yourself started, as long as you're 18 and over and a UK resident. Oh, and don't forget to have your national insurance number to hand too. Once you've made it through the setup process, feel free to treat yourself to a cup of tea and a biscuit because that's about as strenuous as it gets. Once you're set up, remember that what you've just created is called a general investment account. Now, this is the account which is completely free to use and purchase stocks and shares in, but bear in mind that if you want to get access to a stocks and shares ISA or even a SIP, that's a self-invested personal pension, that there will be charges and this is where the premium accounts come in. So let's just cover these off now. To use a stocks and shares ISA, you can open one of these using free trade for a cost of £3 a month. So using quick maths, that's an annual fee of £36, which when compared to some of their competitors, starts to look really good once you've built up a bit of a sizable investing pot but I'll leave that one to you to decide whether it's good value or not. As a recap, remember that a Stocks and Shares ISA is your tax-free investing account that each UK adult is allowed to invest £20,000 per year into, where all of your capital gains and dividends received are not taxable. If you want to build up wealth over the long term and you're not a fan of the tax man, then this is the ideal account for you. For a SIP account, that's the one which allows you to invest your own personal pension. There's also a charge of £9.99 per month, so if you want to have a Stocks and Shares ISA as well as a SIP, then your monthly cost will run to £13. However, there is a way to reduce the cost of your SIP with Free Trade's most premium offering, which is the Plus account. If you want to get some additional features as well as get your Stocks and Shares ISA included, then you could choose the Free Trade Plus account, which will cost you £9.99 per month. With this account, you get a number of benefits, including a wider selection of stocks, including small cap companies, stop and limit orders, as well as interest on your cash in the account of 3% a year, up to a maximum deposit of £4,000. So in theory, you could park £4,000 in the account as cash, and that 3%, which would be £120 for the year, would actually end up paying for the Plus account. One final benefit is the discount on the SIP account too, which reduces the monthly fee from £9.99 to £7, meaning that the maximum monthly fee that you can pay on the free trade platform for all of the additional features is £16.99. If that's all confusing for you, remember that this is all optional. If you just want to play around with a small amount of money and you want to get started right now, then let's go right ahead and we can do this all for free using the account we've just set up. In fact, it's the account I use as well for my own portfolio at the moment too. Right then, should we look at buying our first share? To make your first investment, you'll want to get some money into the platform. So head over to the account section on the bottom right and top your account up with either your linked UK bank account or even Apple Pay which is a lifetime limit of £250. It's very quick and easy to get money into your account and you should have the money ready to invest in just a couple of minutes. Next comes the fun part where we can start to look at companies to invest in and stocks to buy. Head over to the Discover section on the app as this is where the, all the action takes place. Now, as you can see on screen, this section has various different parts to give you some inspiration. For example, you've got the popular tech titan section here, companies like Microsoft and Alphabet who own Google, or you can also start having a browse through companies based on what sector they're in, for example, finance, health, or even tech. However, the easiest way to find a company is just by using the search bar, and you can type in either a company name, a ticker symbol, or even a kind of description. For example, I could type in electric car, and I get lots of different options here, which include the likes of Rivian and Tesla, or I could just simply search for a company name simply enough. If I type in Tesla, I get the popular car maker right at the top of my results, and also a couple more. Funny enough, Neo, this company's blow, is described as a Chinese Tesla. I didn't realize that was actually a category. Anyway, let's say we wanted to get invested in Tesla. Go ahead and click on the Tesla icon, and now we're at the company's page where we get all of the details we need, including the performance of the stock over the last day, week, month, year, and beyond. We can also add the stock to our own watch list as well. So if we don't want to buy anything right now, but we just want to keep an eye on things that we can do this easily enough to. We'll also see some high level information here in the stats section, showing us the last opening price, the market cap, 
and any dividend yield if this was a company who paid out any of its profits. If this was a company you wanted to buy, all you would need to do is press the buy button here and proceed to type in the amount of money you had to invest. With US stocks, you do actually get the opportunity to buy fractional shares, which means that you don't need the full amount of money required to buy one share which can be pretty helpful as companies like Tesla are over $900 in share price. As long as you have sufficient funds in your account, all you need to do then is hit confirm and your order will be processed. As long as the order is done during stock market hours, it will get processed immediately. Otherwise, you'll have to wait for the trade to execute the next working day. US stocks are headquartered and traded out of the US market and UK stocks operate on our hours. So from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. in the UK market and the US time is 2.30 until 9 p.m. UK time. The only fees you'll see to trade individual shares are stamp duty for UK shares, which is 0.5% of the trade amount. And for any US shares, you'll pay the FX fees to change your hard earned pounds in US dollars at the spot rate plus 0.45%. And then that's it. Once you hit the order and get a confirmation through, you're now an investor. Congratulations. Now, this does mean you're allowed your second cup of tea and another biscuit. I did say it would be pretty simple. All of the stocks and investments you own will be in the portfolio tab of the app, which is the one here on the furthest to the left. This will list all of your investments and the current price of them based on the current market value, which always changes as you might expect. Sometimes it will go down and sometimes it will go up. That's the stock market. If you ever want to compare the performance of your portfolio, you can head over to the insights tab and choose the performance section. This is really useful to see how you're getting on compared to the wider stock market. Maybe you'll end up beating Warren Buffett, who knows? And finally, if you do want to sell your stocks for any reason, then go ahead and follow the same process as we did to buy, head to the portfolio section, click on the company and choose sell. Now, the same rules apply for market hours. If it's outside of those, then the order will get scheduled for the next available time. Be careful when selling stocks though, you get instant regrets and you'll forever be checking what the price is long after you sold them. Only kidding. Worth mentioning that if you buy any income producing stocks, so those which can pay a dividend each month or maybe a couple of times a year, that you will receive an email from Free Trade confirming that you've received cash and this will appear in your account section. With that cash, you can do whatever you want. Reinvest the money if that's enough to buy another share or just save it for a rainy day. I'm currently building up my own dividend portfolio using Free Trade. So I've had a few dividends already that I'm looking to eventually snowball into a much larger portfolio. Feel free to check out my other video after this one if you do want to follow me along on my journey with my UK dividend stocks. Let's quickly just run over the pros and the cons of the platform. On the good side, we've got free stock trading with zero commission, which is a lot better when compared to the platforms I've used who normally want to charge you £10 per trade. This is great for small accounts just to get you started investing and you can trade as much as you like even in single shares of companies. It's really easy to use and set up in my opinion. You can also purchase fractional shares of US companies and then also the fixed costs are beneficial as you grow your wealth over the longer term as for example that £3 a month for the stocks and shares ISA remains that cost regardless of whether you've got £1,000 in your ISA or £10,000. On the downside there's not a lot of technical information if you were looking to do a bit of company research so you will need to find your own platforms for that, something like Yahoo Finance, Seeking Alpha or somewhere like that. On the free account, your share options are limited as well. So you won't be able to see every kind of investment or the smaller companies outside of the FTSE 100, for example, in the UK. And finally, although it's a good thing that the account fees are fixed, the plus account, this can also be a downside if you've got just a smaller account starting out when compared to other platforms who charge a percentage base fee. One final point worth noting is that they are FCA regulated, which means that you will be protected as a consumer too, which is always welcome. But do note that Free Trade is still a very young company, which will have lots of growing pains as it goes through different rounds of raising its own money as they're not yet profitable business and raise capital through crowdfunding. Overall though, it's a great platform, simple to use and great to get started with investing for a very small amount of money. Watch this space if we start to see some more UK platforms that try to copy their success and bring more commission-free investing platforms to the UK. Come on guys! Now, if you do want to see me opening my own free trade account and making my UK dividend portfolio, then watch this video on screen now. Good luck and let me know how you get on. Drop me a like if you found the video useful, subscribe for many more. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy investing.